Hi, this is just a short update video to let you know where I am lately. Happy New Year to you and welcome to the channel. Let's get started. Firstly, where have I been for the past two weeks? Well, since running the Tord Valley Park Run on New Year's Day, my family and I have really been quite unwell. Uh, so much so that I haven't felt able to film or edit anything for the channel. And as well as that, I haven't been running. I did have quite an intensive training block lined up for the next three months leading up to the London Marathon. Unfortunately, due to illness, the first two weeks of that block has been non-existent and I'm still not 100% well. So this week is going to be an easy week. And next week, we're down in Cornwall managing the social media and doing the live stream for the Arc of Attrition. So that's going to be a non-starter as well. The way things stand, marathon training isn't really going to get going until the beginning of February. And I'm a bit worried already that that doesn't leave me enough time to get fit enough. So what are my plans for 2024? Well, as well as the London Marathon towards the end of April, at the beginning of April, I'll be running the Brighton Marathon for the very first time. And it'll be a training run. Well, it was planned to be a training run and then to run London as a PB attempt. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That's still kind of the plan, although it may be that London turns out not to be a PB attempt. I'll just go as hard as I can with the fitness that I have. And then in May, this is going to be one of my main focus events of the year. I'm traveling up to Scotland for the Cape Wrath Ultra. You may remember I volunteered at this event last year in order to get my entry for this year. So I'm really excited about the Cape Wrath Ultra happening in May this year. In June, I'll be at the South Downs Way 100 in some form or another for the very first edition of the World Trail Majors. That's going to be really exciting. And then following that in August, of course, we will be in Chamonix. This year I have entered, or I've put my name down for OCC, which is the 54 kilometer race that Victoria ran last year. Now, I won't know if I've got in on the ballot for a couple of days. If I don't get in, I may consider entering TDS again. The only caveat to that is that I'm also entering the ballot for Tour de Gion. And that happens in September. Now, if I get into Tour de Gion, uh, which is a big, long 320 kilometer race, then I won't be doing TDS because I think two big, long races back to back is going to be too much physically to manage. If I get into OCC, I think I can probably do OCC and Tour de Gion. If I don't get into Tour de Gion at all, uh, then I don't know what I'm going to do in September. Let's move on and have a little look at what videos we've got planned and coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that now. Be really grateful. It really helps me out. In terms of videos that I'm currently editing, yes, I know you've all been waiting for UTMB. It is on the way, I promise you. Uh, I just haven't been able to dedicate any time to it recently. It's nowhere near finished, but it is on the agenda. It will be done. It will be released at some point. Obviously, all the races that I've just mentioned, I will be filming all of them. And I will try and do a training series leading up to the London Marathon as I did last year with the Paris Marathon. Over the next couple of weeks, I've got a couple of rather self-indulgent stats videos for you. One is of every single official 26.2 mile distance that I've run. So basically every marathon that I've run not including ultras, just 26.2. Um, I basically go through every single one. There's 81 of them um, and uh, tell you a little bit about them and what time I did. And it goes from slowest to fastest marathon. And then the other one, you may have seen a lot of YouTubers do this, um, a kind of uh, look at how much money you've earned as a YouTuber over the year. Uh, I've got a similar one coming up, basically just tracking the growth of the Film My Run channel over the past eight years, uh, looking at how many subscribers I've gained, how many video views I've had in that time, and yes, how much money I've earned on the channel during those eight years. In the meantime, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please do that now. I'd really appreciate it. It is free. It really helps me out. Heck, click the like button and the bell notification icon as well. Let's go for the whole thing. 
Click here if you want to watch the last London Marathon video I did. Once again, apologies for not being around for the past couple of weeks due to illness, but we'll see you on the start line next time. Bye-bye.